All right, I'm gonna use the straightening on my beard. So I'm gonna kind of do a close up here. It's pretty curly and out of control. All right, so I went ahead and purchased Dark and Lovely. It is uh, eight bucks or something. Six plus tax. Uh, it is a chemical relaxer. So after watching YouTube, I feel pretty confident that I can uh, straighten my own beard. Uh, I bought some petroleum jelly from Walmart. It's a Quake brand, so it's way cheaper. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. There we go. Pull the lid straight off. Okay. So, without the glove, I'm gonna do all the areas that I'm not gonna put the strainer. Um, I'm gonna be shaving my neck. And I'll be shaving actually right there too. But I'm gonna put the straightener up there because I wanna try to get all the hairs that are left to be straight as possible. Uh, Pretty much what I did is watch YouTube and several really good videos on there. Had pretty much all chicks who straighten their hair and I did a couple Google searches and nobody really straightens their beards. I think that's because no one's really tried it. I don't see any real difference in sensitivity between the top of my head and my face. Uh, having such a thick beard I shave every day and it doesn't seem to ever be a problem for me. So, uh, I also want to mention I bought the Super Formula on the Dark and Lovely. Okay. I also bought some extra mixing sticks and I purchased my own latex gloves. Mine are actually fiberglass ones. Shoot. Uh, gotta get the other camera rolling. So, that should be good on the petroleum jelly on the bottom part. Now we'll do up on my face. All right, that's good to go. I'm gonna get my other glove on. Then what I'm gonna do next is mix up the magic. So I have a, a beard, so I'm only gonna use half the container. Uh, I can use the other half next time. So I'm just gonna take the new container I'm going to empty half of it out into my mixing cup. Using the mixing stick provided. Uh, 
I think I could probably get away with only using a quarter of it, but since I've never done this before, I'd rather have too much than too little, so that way I don't have to remix after I'm already going along. Alright. And according to the instructions it says if you want to mix the whole thing you use both cream hardeners. It's uh it's got two packages, so I should just use the one and it should work. I'm just going to double check my work. Yeah, open one activator packet. Just want to be sure. All right, so I'll set the I'll set the the other half of the cream in the other activator and I'll just use this one packet mix it right in there I'm going to stir using my known good fiberglass stirring technique, which is you mix it and then scrape the edges by rotating the container in your hand. Might be a little difficult to see. I'll back up a little. It says to time yourself and for really coarse hair you want to let it sit on there for a maximum of 20 minutes so that's what I'm going to do a maximum of 20. I'm going with the full 20 because I have a ferociously coarse beard and my hair is just as coarse and just as thick and just as curly. It's not just my beard. So. All right. I'm gonna grab a garbage can. Kinda of forgot that. Now, like I said, I brought some extra mixing sticks with me because one of the techniques I saw was a lady who used a stick and applied this. So I thought that technique looked pretty awesome. So I'm gonna do similar.
this is petroleum jelly I'm putting on. Just want to be sure this does not touch my ear. Otherwise, I'll burn and be annoying. I'll probably make it, but better safe than sorry. I think I said that earlier. But it's true, so I'll say it again. Now, the other thing I noticed in the videos were that they combed it straight. So they generally didn't try to back comb the hair or go in crazy directions, but they always try to keep it going straight and down. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Now, since my hair is so short, and I can't perform a very good way to comb, comb it out, and make sure that this is even, what I'm going to do is now that I've applied it pretty generously there, I'm going to, with my right hand, knead it in. And I'm applying the same idea, I'm trying to pull straight and down. I'm gonna avoid the weird directions. Just try to go straight as much as possible. And oh. please remember I'm an amateur and this is an experiment so if I don't look like I know what I'm doing it's because I don't Power of YouTube. Any jackass can post a video. <laughs>